Now joining us is Tate Frazier from Titus and Tate. Thanks so it's, much for joining us. Absolutely, man. It's, a, it's an honor. I, uh, as you all know here on this program, I am a, I'm a believer in Ty Jerome and the way Ty Jerome plays basketball. Uh, he, is, he reminds me of the way my brother played basketball. My brother was a point guard like that, uh, had great vision, was able to find people. And uh, again, last year, just a year ago, feels like it was like 18 years ago, but you know, being in Minnesota in the Final Four, that moment, Ty finds DeAndre in the corner and that's the you know that's when I was like finally we see it on the biggest stage he delivers and uh it's great to be on and obviously I knew Ty started this whole thing locker room access and uh I'm happy to be a part of it so thanks for having me on guys yeah. let's jump into the impression yeah let's do it um and so so we we generally just look at photos want to get your impression first one James Harden rolling up short shorts what what you, and I hear you talk about off-whites and fashion what are your thoughts on the rolled up short shorts. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm going to say, look, James, I love James Harden, man. Like he's a really, he's a really cool dude. And I, I like that. He's trying to swag on him with the short shorts. Like, why not? My whole thing is like, as long as you are confident in what you're doing, you can pull it off. And he's, he's obviously confident in what he's doing. And next, <laughs> next one. And again, another, you know, we do two sort of fashion ones. PJ Tucker, crazy sneaker game on court. What, what is your take on this? I, I've always wondered what your thoughts are. I mean, the guy, he's wearing the off-white Jordan 1 Chicago's there in a game. PJ Tucker is one of my favorite Raleigh, North Carolina basketball players. Uh, he's a real one. He's a, you know, a sneakerhead, like you said. Uh, he's obviously got everything that you can imagine as far as, yeah, as far as the Jordan, <laughs> uh, the shoes. Uh, but I just want to shout out Julius Randle because Julius Randle's nasty. And I he's feel right. like we, we have this problem in the NBA where we always want to, like, put people down because, like, whatever, because of the rankings that we saw before. But, like, Julius Randle's the baller. He's a hooper. So, uh, so that's what I'll say about that. And, and what about like Jordan, obviously the sneaker thing, incredible as a fan, seeing all of these different players from all over wearing your favorite player's shoes. What is that like? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, uh, I, I feel like that, that whole thing. I mean, that's why I would go to North Carolina just to get Jordan. So those were the first basketball shoes I got and went and bought out and they were just like used shoes I got at a yard sale, but they were still Jordan. So they counted, they probably were fake. But yeah, it's like it's like a stamp of approval, you know. It's like I got Jays on, and uh, that's nice. It feels nice. It's like it's like the new luxury shoes, I guess. Absolutely. And then uh, we got we got to get this is. I wanted to get an outsider's opinion on this. This is the new Virginia logo. Everyone's up in arms about it. You know, there's all all kinds of talk. What are your thoughts? You, have you even seen it? Is this? I have not seen it. Uh, what, what is that? A Wahoo? That's supposed to be a Wahoo, right? That's a uh, a Cavalier. Yeah, a Cavalier. Yeah. Uh, okay. I uh, I like the V. I like the V with the swords. I think we just keep it. I think we just keep it classic. <laughs> let's, let's just keep. Let's just keep it standard. Can we just say the qu the quote of the day is that a Wahoo? That was phenomenal. <laughs> I, mean, I literally. I don't I, know. I don't know what a Wahoo is. That's I don't so either. That's what I'm guessing that is. I'm like, what is that little thing? That's a wahoo from here on out. <laughs> and had, oh, we talked man. about this for a moment. The GOAT, Virginia mm. game. Mm. The, I think you guys talked about this a little bit. Like, how often does he come to games? Like, he, what is it? He The first time he came back in the 2010s was uh, in, in 2014 – or 2012 when Harrison was there. He came back for a game. We won the ACC tournament – or ACC championship at home. And then he came back for the ceiling as the roof game the year that they won the title. And then he was back at this game uh, with Mitch Kupchak. The fact that Kupchak is the GM of the Hornets now, uh, Michael's back around because Kupchak is, you know, he's Carolina through and through. So he's always back in Chapel Hill. So he brings Michael around, which is good. I was talking about Ronnie Weidman, but I, we'll take that answer as well. <laughs> this next one, Grayson Allen's shot. Do you remember this in terms of foots down, balls in it? Balls in his hand. It's a travel, right? Is that, where, is that yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is this is the game winning, supposed game winning shot. But great, great Grayson Allen and his his antics from a Carolina fan does it just, does it just make you happy? Grayson Allen, honestly, he didn't even live up to the hype. Like I wish he was more hateable. I wish he would have done more. Um, <laughs> I wanted, I wanted him – like, J.J. Redick is the perfect person as far as what you're supposed to do at Duke to be hateable. It's like 
may be the best player in the country uh you know basically do this with the crowd slap the floor all this type of stuff grayson was doing things that you know no one likes to see we're just tripping like i i want to see the uh the rubbing it in my face and and talking shit on the floor um from a white guy who's hitting a bunch of threes and that's that's okay. jj john shire grayson grayson was like he was too perfect you know it was it was uh it wasn't even as fun because i'm like i don't even want to hate grayson he seems like a nice kid i yeah, feel like i'm beating her Leitner and was with, pretty good Leitner, at that too. Yeah, Leitner. And with JJ joining the ringer, like doing podcasts, I feel like he's much more relatable now. And then Justin had him as a teammate. I've heard nothing but good things. It kind of ruins it for me personally. But Yeah, no, JJ is a great guy. I produce his podcast. And uh, all of the hate that I felt as a young kid was all uh, misinterpreted. <laughs> He's a great Roanoke, Virginia guy. He's from yeah, exactly. You're a Virginia guy. Now, like, I like JJ, yeah, which is. is, like, a huge – yeah. Anyway, the tides have turned. The tides have turned, of course. And then the next one is th- – this is more of a question of the Jordan meme piece, that going around as – as a, I always wondered what – how does that make you – feel seeing jordan's face plastered in all of these different means this is darius thompson just yeah. getting one and um and then throwing it throwing the well, classic jordan crying meme on it michael's a genius because he hated the crying jordan so he decided to create a 10-part documentary series where he was given <laughs> an ipad and it's just him laughing at other people that he beat and now all the memes are him laughing so uh michael jordan is a marketing machine <laughs> good answer Oh, yes. The best. This is the one, Ronald Curry, for those that don't remember, he is committed to UVA Mm. up until announcement day puts on a UNC hat. So all the UVA fans, at least that's how my memory serves me correctly. We, everyone was like, he's the next, you know, two sport athlete, Terry Kirby. We missed out on Allen Iverson. Mm -hmm. Now we got Ron Curry. We all amped up and then he puts on a UNC hat. Is that how you remember it? Uh, how I remember it is basically Ronald Curry's coming to town. He's a number one quarterback. Uh, he's going to be a, a superstar. He was a, supposedly better than Michael Vick is what we had heard. Yes. Uh, and then he came down and Ronald Curry and Julius Peppers were the greatest, uh, like they were just the greatest duo, two sport duo to ever have. Like they would play football season. They'd play in their bowl game. The bowl game would be over and then they're back playing basketball. And, uh, and it was just like, Oh my God, here comes Peppers and Curry. It was such a fun time. And, uh, I remember Doug Gottlieb told me that he would, he would like bust up uh, Ronald Curry. He was like, Ronald Curry sucks at basketball. And I always thought that was hilarious because I, I loved Ronald Curry. I thought he was great. But, um, you know, obviously playing two sports is it's hard to focus on one thing. Never, never easy. And he was he Charlie was Ward and him, right? Charlie I mean, Ward. Yeah. yeah. Jameis Winston, maybe, because he plays football and baseball. We're, oh, my goodness. Look at this picture. We already talked about this briefly for him for for that but that the playboy article where jordan said that you kind of briefly touched on it but i just wanted to show you this picture one more time that's a great picture i uh michael would have been a great virginia basketball player that's for sure i mean i i don't even want to think about we talked about it what, what would virginia history be like with him because then we're getting or then anyway I'm well, like, <laughs> what, what virginia needs is ralph sampson highlights you guys need a ralph sampson doc honestly because ralph sampson's incredible and people have no idea yeah, the Ralph Sampson, that whole era is like, yeah, yeah anyway. Yeah, you're right. The, the, the highlights you see of Ralph are all the same recycled highlights. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's like and three highlights. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. And then the next one, last year. <laughs> well, I, was, I was watching this. <laughs> I was watching this at the All-Star game. So I imagine you were, you were there at the All-Star game as well. Did you, did you tune into this one at all? This is during did. the dunk contest. It was during the dunk contest. I watched this happen. Honestly, I'll tell you this. I, this team this year, I, I, I felt for them. Um, I wish Kobe White would have come back, but I don't blame him for going to the league. But they were a young team. And Leaky Black is uh, one of my favorites. And there he is in that picture with the shot. It, it was a tough year for Carolina basketball. I watched all the games. Um, I like Cole Anthony. I've always liked Greg Anthony. But, man, it couldn't have gone any worse. And uh, this shot is a perfect example of it. <laughs> And then, so so we're starting a new little series. We're going to show you three sports trading cards. One okay. to buy, one to sell, one to trade. All right, cool. And this one, <laughs> I imagine the, the first one is, you know, it's tough in the sense that you want to sell them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely want to sell them all. Uh, I would probably, <laughs> I would definitely sell the Grayson Allen rookie card. Um, 
I would uh, trade the Leitner and I would buy the K uh, because it's USA basketball. And the only time that I can get over Coach K is when he's with Team, team USA because, it, you know, it just is what it is. I don't like it, but I can get over it. So I, I guess I'll take the, the Mike the Krzyzewski Mike card. I'll probably hide it in my house somewhere. I love it. <laughs> and then – Oh, gosh. So we got Cole, Anthony, Caleb, Love, Kobe White. Is this the same thing? Okay. Same thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna trade Cole Anthony. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell Caleb Love, uh, and then I'm gonna buy Kobe White. Kobe White's my favorite. Uh, he, he's also he broke Jameis on Curry scoring record, so he's now the North Carolina State high school scoring record. Kobe White has that record. Um, so he is a he's a North Carolina basketball legend in my mind, and uh, he went to Chicago, so I'm hoping he figures it out. So the the Cole the the weird as Cole Anthony I don't even know has he declared for the draft is he yes I yes. assume he has mm-hmm. what are what are his prospects looking like in terms of draft stock do you do you keep track of that I think uh, yeah he's a lottery pick it seems like from what I see I mean I, I it's a weird draft this year um, Lamelo Ball from what I can gather is going to be a top three pick um, that's crazy so it's a it's an interesting draft and I, I think honestly if you were a basketball like if you're really fundamentally sound at the game of basketball, you have a real shot, I think, to stay in the NBA if front offices are smart because a lot of the guys coming to the league, they're not as fundamentally sound as some of the guys that grew up going to a Boo Williams or Five Star or one of these other camps and has, you know, the package to, you know, grow their game from a role player to a star. You know, that's what Michael Jordan did. And a lot of people, I think, want to come into the league and expect just to be a star. And um, I don't think it works like that. So um, if I was an older guy, like a vet, like, you know, I and I had – the game i I would i wouldn't be threatened by some of these younger guys coming in honestly and last one bringing it back to virginia buy sell trade kai ty deandre one of which was on the podcast earlier so yeah yeah i mean well ty jerome's my favorite (laughs) so it's a it's a buy tie it's a trade kyle and uh because i want kyle to get out of sacramento to a better situation so i'll trade him on sacramento i'll say that uh and then i'll sell deandre even though i love all three of the guys you have to understand uh they're all they're like the perfect trio for virginia and uh ty is just my favorite because you can get a lot of money for deandre though it's not like selling yeah, yeah, yeah. Selling. What's you're it? selling. You're selling. Now. DeAndre is a part of a core in Atlanta that I think is that's that's such a great setup, and I think he's better than Cam Reddish. So I, I think that all worked out perfectly. That's it. That's all we got. Appreciate. Appreciate. Nice. nice. I appreciate. So, you guys. Can I get one more? Can I get one more question, yeah. Tate, before you're done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do your UVA Mount uh, Mount Bennett? <laughs> Mount Bennett. Can you do a Virginia? Do, do four. Mount Rushmore. Yeah, do four. I'll Whatever do you want. four. I'll do four for those guys. Uh, if Joe Harris, um, Justin Anderson, Ty Jerome, and <laughs> no, Justin, Justin, I even not because he's on this. You were, you were my, you were, you were like one of the ones that got away from me. I was like, we should have had him in Carolina. You're a Carolina basketball player, so I put you on that list. And then, uh, man, I'm trying to yeah, think. If you, if you keep, if you keep hesitating, somebody, my face goes up. So be careful. 1993. <laughs> Spit it out, take Doug. No, I, probably Sean Singletary. Probably Sean Singletary, honestly. Yeah, I did, good one. I did. I did love Sean, and Sean's coaching now, right? Do you, is is he coaching somewhere? I think he, he was is. at LaSalle now. LaSalle, uh, right. yeah, he's not anymore. I think he's oh, okay. back. He's back in Charlottesville. No. Nice. I I think that him. whole era of UVA basketball just needs like uh like people need to see what was going on. Like they just need a, a refresher. Like the ACC network could just play games from like the 2000s, like UVA versus UNC randomly in 2005. Yeah, we just had Roger Mason. We had oh, Roger no. Mason Jr. on, and like I don't even remember him being a UVA basketball player. I remember as an NBA player. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what that's I mean. Like, that kind of stuff. I could like, use it. They have all the vaults too. Like they have all those games, and we have no sports. So why don't they just play those games? Yeah, make, it because it makes too much stuff. sense. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they did. They did do the Carolina, the Jordan games, right? Did you, did you watch some of those? They had Jordan versus Samson. They had like two. Yeah. Or th- I want to say two or three games. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool last Saturday. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys having me on. Absolutely, thanks, Zoom. I, I, I had no awesome. idea we'd had this many guests on, so that was uh, that was amazing. Hey, we just w- w- wanted everyone to have some love for you. <laughs>